Hey everyone, my name is Ishan and I welcome you all to this session. In this session, we shall see the differences between the two build tools, Maven and Gradle. We shall begin with seeing the basics of the two, followed by seeing the differences between them on the basis of some very prominent features. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. All right. Let's now begin with what is Maven. If you are a Java developer, then this build tool would have helped you every now and then. Maven is a popular open source build tool developed by the Apache group to build, publish and deploy several projects at once. The tool is written in Java and is used to build projects written in C Sharp, Scala and Ruby. Maven is based on the project object model and focuses on the simplification and standardization of the building process. In the process, it takes care of the builds, dependencies, reports, distributions, releases, and the mailing list. Maven is chiefly used for Java-based projects. The tool helps build the code and downloading dependencies and is used to develop and manage any Java-based project. It simplifies the day-to-day -day work of Java developers and helps them build their projects. Now, when we know about Maven, the next tool to be considered is Gradle. So let's begin with what is Gradle. Gradle is a build automation tool known for its flexibility to build software. Here, a build automation tool is something that is used to automate the creation of applications. The building process includes compiling, linking and packaging the code. The process becomes more consistent with the help of build automation tools. Gradle is known to build automation in many languages like Java, Scala, Android, C, C++ and Groovy. The tool supports Groovy based domain specific language over XML. Gradle provides building, testing and deploying software on several platforms. The tool is known to build any software and large projects. Before we move forth, we must know that Gradle includes all the pros of ANT and Maven. Along with that, it also curbs all the cons of both of these build tools. Now, let's have a look at the contrast between these two tools. We will have a look at the contrast based on six prominent features. The first point of comparison is based on. This answers the question what Maven or Gradle is based on. Maven is based on developing Java based software and the goal is related to a project phase. Whereas Gradle is based on developing domain specific language projects. The goal with Gradle is to add functionality to a project. Then comes the second point. The second point is the focus. What do these two tools focus on? Maven simply focuses on developing applications within the time deadlines provided. Whereas in the case of Gradle, there may be new features that might be added to the application while it is being built or developed. Now the third pointer is configuration. As we know, Maven uses extensible markup language or XML for making the project structure. Maven uses an XML file for declaring the project and its dependencies. Whereas Gradle on the other hand doesn't use an XML file for the declaration of project configuration. Gradle uses Groovy based domain specific language for making the project structure. Moving forth. The fourth pointer is languages. When we talk about languages, we see that Maven supports software development in languages like Scala, C Sharp and Ruby. Whereas Gradle supports development in languages like Java, C, C++ and Groovy. Now the next pointer in our list is customization. If we consider customization, then Maven provides a limited number of parameters and resources. It can serve a limited number of developers and is not much customizable. However, 
This also makes Maven easier to understand and configure. Whereas Gradle is a highly customizable tool and provides a large range of IDE support builds. Gradle can be used for native development with C or C++. The sixth and the last point we shall consider is performance. Maven has a slower build time since it does not use build cache, which means it does not create local temporary files during software creation, hence uses extensive time. Whereas Gradle on the other hand performs better than Maven as it is optimized for tracking only current running tasks. This means it only works on the tasks that have been changed to give a better performance. Now, when we know the differences between the two build tools, it sometimes becomes critical to decide which tool would be a better fit for a work. So the next topic, how do you choose between the two tools? We know that both Gradle and Maven have their own set of advantages and disadvantages. Gradle is undoubtedly the more powerful tool out of the two. Still, it has many functionalities that are not always needed and dealing with so many functionalities is slightly a difficult task. If we consider the tools together, we can conclude that Maven is great for small projects. It should be used when dependency management, modularization, consistency, lots of plugins and conventions are preferred. At the same time, Gradle on the other hand is fantastic when it comes to big projects and should be used when flexibility, ease of use, speed and incremental builds are of importance. And also, if you have started with Maven and now your project has overgrown, you can switch or migrate from Maven to Gradle at any point of time. I hope this will help you when it comes to choosing between the two build tools in the near future. So with this, we have come to the end of the session. I hope you guys found it informative and helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.